Hola everyone, Christian here. Today, we're gonna go over how to write meta descriptions on Shopify to increase your traffic and improve SEO. So a meta description is an HTML meta tag that acts as a summary that describes your web page content. It's just a small text, usually 155 to 160 characters in length that appears just below the page title when you search on Google or other search engines. Another way to put it is a meta description is the promise that you make those searchers, right? Among a sea of comp competing web pages, it calls out to them and says, hey, this is the page that you're actually looking at. So if you do a Google search for pink elephant plush toys, these blue words at the very top what we call the, the hyperlinks, right? Those are gonna be the title tags. And what's underneath that is actually gonna be the meta description. So for example, on this one right here, the bedtime original Twinkle Toys Pink Elephant Plush, uh, that's the title. And then all this right here is going to be the actual description. Um, all these additional things are, are part of the description, um, but they do have some other names. Uh, what is considered a description is just that, that single text, right? paragraph that's underneath the blue link right there. So let's talk about where you can actually add meta descriptions on your Shopify store. First up is going to be the homepage. Good homepage meta descriptions should give you a description of what your store is all about, uh, as well as a good reason to click. It needs to be simple and easy to scan. Uh, when you search for something, you barely even pay attention to that meta description. The, the brain sort of makes a, a split decision based on the information that's presented. So let's take a look at Fashion Nova's meta description here. They actually keep it super simple with three sentences. So the first sentence tells you exactly who they are. So fashion Nova is the top online fashion store for women. Then the second sentence tells you what they serve. So it says shop sexy club dresses, jeans, shoes, bodysuits, skirts, and more. And lastly, they give you their unique selling proposition cheap and affordable fashion online. So if you can gather all those things for your homepage meta description, then you're definitely winning. It's uh, who you are, what do you actually serve, or what are some of the items that you could potentially have in your store, potentially having some of your best sellers, and then what's that unique selling proposition? What is something that you can add to the description that makes it unique to you and your store? Now, before we move on, I just want to say bienvenidos. My name is Christian Pinon, one of the co-founders here at Bet Branding. We're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. We do drop new videos every week, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Next week, we actually have Aaron talking about how to make 5,000 a month in your clothing store. So next up is the product page. So this will be a little bit easier to write since you're talking about one specific product and not your company as a whole. Uh, now these should explain why the product is great for the potential customer or provide exact technical details and specs about that particular product. So let's take a look at a couple of examples here actually. Uh, we're gonna search for the new boomerang balls. I actually got one for Christmas and they're super fun. Um, so as you can see, they describe the product they describe the product, what it does, how it will make you feel. Um, another example that we can look at is called the Valley Bandit. And we have it pulled up right here. And this is more in line with obviously a clothing store and what you're watching this video for, but it still gives you a good description of just that product. Um, and for example, this one says not to be worn during pregnancy. Uh, this is a wrap for the abdominal compression binder designed to help you get your body back to its former fabulousness. So again, it tells you how that product makes you feel and it talks a little bit about the product and how to use it right there within the description. Hey, I just wanna mention if you're liking what you see, consider clicking on that like button. Lastly, the category or collection page. Collection pages can show you a, a broad high volume keywords. So for example, a collection page could be something like women's shoes or men's jeans, for example. Uh, if we search for something like women's shoes, pull up this example we can see that there's a variety of different shoes being presented and we can also see them use generic phrases like shop online for and enjoy a large selection and free shipping so again all they're doing with this is encouraging people to click category pages should aim for plurals and more mid tail key terms um, than the actual product pages so black sweaters for women would be included in the description for a category page for black women's sweaters. 
um, that's just how that should work. Um, but yeah, this DSW example here uh, shows you exactly what we're talking about when it comes to these category or collection pages. Hey, come a little bit closer, a little bit closer. I wanna let you in in a little secret. Data is king right now. And now more than ever, you need to be able to see your blind spots and opportunities in your clothing store. That's why we found this software called Triple Whale, you can see the link below, that will literally put all the data points that you need to know about your business in one place so that every single day you can see what your gross net profits and opportunities are to continue to grow profitably. It's a game changer, trust me. Check it out down below. Now let's talk about a couple of things when uh, you're writing good meta descriptions. We've sort of mentioned the, the three places inside your Shopify store where you can write meta descriptions, the homepage, the product page, and the collection page. Now, what actually makes a good meta description? Um, let's talk about some of those elements in here. So first off, I'm just kind of talking general be between those three. Um, so these apply to all of them and sometimes maybe more so um, certain ones, but you need to answer what exactly it is that you're offering. So where there's the homepage, the product page, the collection, you need to be clear and concise about what you're offering and why should I buy from you? That's going back to that unique selling proposition, right? Making that meta description unique to you and your store. Um, you could also think about, especially in the homepage, you can think about these returning customers, right? What are they saying about your business? What makes it unique? Um, and if you're brand new, you can think about what made you think this business would actually get customers, right? Again, going back to what makes your business unique is gonna make it super easy to, to write that homepage meta description. So the goal again for all these meta descriptions is to get clicks. So you wanna give them in that optimal length of 155 characters. Um, and then another element that you need to include within all of these meta descriptions is to make them actionable. Add some sort of call to action like shop now, explore the collection, browse our shoes, um, things like that. Those, those sort of keywords that elicit action. And finally, at all costs, you need to avoid using meta description generators. Uh, the meta descriptions is one of the best chances for someone to actually click on, on your store from a search engine. And I believe that's too important to live it up to an automated generator to just come up with that stuff. Um, I think you need to have hands-on um, hands on work on each of these meta descriptions. And I know what you're saying, when it comes to the actual product descriptions, uh, that can be a huge hassle, but writing good product descriptions will make you a better writer for the meta descriptions. So keep that in mind when you have a huge catalog of a lot of different products. Um, another thing that you can also take into consideration is what are some of your best sellers? Like start with some of your best sellers, some of the products that you know that people are looking out for on, on search engines and just start there and start uh, just writing those descriptions and then sort of working out after afterwards the rest of your, of your products. Now I do wanna show you really quickly before we leave how to make those changes inside of your Shopify store. So very quickly, we're gonna to go to our totally 90s kids store here. And for the homepage, you're gonna to go to online store. And this one's kind of tricky, but it's under preferences. And under preferences, you'll see homepage meta description right here. The next one is gonna be the product. So for the products, you'll click on each individual of your products. Again, if you have a product description already written, that will automatically be written as your meta description. So you'll see right here at the bottom, the search engine listing preview. If we click on the edit website SEO, that will give us opportunity to change the meta description. And as you can see, because this is copying directly from the product description, it's also copying some of the code that we have because that particular word was actually bolded and that doesn't work for the meta description. So little things like that um, are things that you need to pay attention to and changing. Uh, same with like, I mean, this whole description is super long. It's actually twice as long as the recommended. Um, and even what we would recommend is it twice as long as that. So um, again, looking at the product description and seeing how you can transform that into something more concise, where it actually tells a customer what it is and why they need to buy this product. Lastly, the collection one. So we're gonna leave this page. When you go to your collections, for example, if I click on dresses, again, scroll all the way to the bottom and then you wanna click on edit website SEO and that will give you the opportunity to write your meta description for the collections right here within Shopify. 
Now, if you're enjoying this video, please check out the next video that you should watch, which is we're talking about shipping increases for 2022 and what you need to do in order to prepare for these shipping costs increase. All right, that's all we have for today. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.